This is Coogan Cassius for I from London. We're in Wolverhampton here for Prize Fighter Welterweight's free Wayne with me. I have got one of the prize fighters, Mark Thompson. How are you, Mark? Yeah, I'm well, thank you. I'm okay. Yep. And how are you, Arnie? Great, mate. Great. Cheers. Um, prize Fighter, a very successful tournament over the years. Um, what made you come into it this time? Um, it's just a chance you got to take, innit? You've nothing to lose, innit? And everything to gain. So far, let's go for it. Now, you've got relative experience over a lot of the boys that are in here tonight. Is, do you think that's tomorrow night that's going to count for something? Yeah, definitely. They're all just young kids coming through, do you know what I mean? They've never been over four, six rounds, do you know what I mean? Never had that experience. But as you know, it's always a three round fight, so everything's game. But we'll see what, how the nerve takes them. I need a two grand incentive by Eddie Hearn to go out there and knock people out in the, within the fights. Um, has that changed the game plan for Mark? No, not at all, because he just boxes how he boxes. Um, and if he lands, you know, he can take him out. But don't go looking for it because he won't come. But it will come <laughs> if he lands a shot. So obviously um, there's a lot of a mixture of um, novice type fighters, people with your experience in this, so it's a good mix in this welterweight mix, isn't it? Yeah, it's a really good mix. There's a couple of young kids who can punch a bit, there's a couple of tall kids. There's a bit of everything in it involved, do you know what I mean? But I've had that many fights now, I've, I've been in with everyone anyway, so I'm well experienced to deal with who comes in front of me. Um, a lot of people tip Mark to win it, uh, one of the favourites, strong favourites to win this. Um, like I said, how do you see that? I think I think he's the favourite. Like I'm just going by the farm book, but also going by what I've seen in the gym. Uh, this, if he performs how he performs, how he performs in the gym, he should walk it. And that's not taking no disrespect from all the kids because they've they've been good amateurs turning pro, and that's that that will suit them. Do you know, being a good amateur, fast three minute uh, three rounds. Um, but so we're looking for a good, a good night. But it'll be tough, but he'll win. Um, what are your plans for this year? Then prize fight aside, what are you looking to do this year, Matt? Um, hopefully win the prize fight tomorrow when I do, and hopefully a British title shot. I'm overdue it now. Do you know what I mean? I've had a, I've won 24 fights. I've not 14 out of the 24. I've not more out than these kids have had. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I've got to be due a British title shot, definitely at least. Yeah, definitely. He's right in saying that, isn't he? He's due a British title shot, isn't he, Arnie? Of course he is. He's definitely due a British title shot. He's a late notice when he's not boxed for a long time. He went over to Germany, boxed uh, the former amateur world champion, and he was out boxing him until the referee jumped in when he got it with one shot. You know what I mean? He shouldn't have been jumped in. Everyone knows that. People have seen it. Uh, my Mark's looking very, very good in the gym. We just want to do it on the night now. All right, Mark, Arnie, thank you very much for talking to Wife from London and wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs>